what's up welcome back i'm sister with a purpose all right thank you so much for all your likes your subscriptions to the channel and any cash donations all right drop a bitch some cash <laughs> i thank you for any cash donations um my cash app down below all right let's go ahead and get started all right let's go ahead and tap in i appreciate you for coming Divine Spirit, thank you for clear communication and divine protection. What is it that I need to discuss in this particular video? Um, this is my telltale deck. Mm -hmm. It tells tales at all. So I will be creating two decks for resale first. And then uh, after those two decks I create, there will be two more decks that I'll create. All right? I will be putting uh, my karmic decks decks as well as my affirmational uplifting decks all right on etsy so let's jump into it and that is the telltale deck lowdown deck um who else love who else tarot affirmation deck as well as just affirmation deck okay oracle affirmation all right let's see what's up I'm connected to the universe. I just heard I'm connected to the universe. So you could be feeling that you're, that you're connected to the universe. You could be a Capricorn. The Capricorn energy is here. All right. Oh, that's way too many. Come to me, spells. They could be, oh, bitch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into the fuck shit. I missed this. Secrets are moon magic. I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna not take it. Lost everything and it's too late for them. Oh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Oh, child. Things will get brighter someday. That's the song that I'm channeling. Anyways. And no, not the Tupac version. Keep your head up. Brenda. Your name could be Brenda or there could be someone named Brenda who's doing moon magic. This could be secret. Someone did not know this, that Brenda had taught a Capricorn how to do moon magic or Brenda is a Capricorn doing moon magic or some shit like that. Brenda's got a baby. It's too late for someone named Brenda. All right, let's move forward. Capricorn energy, come to me spells. It's a trap. There could be a Capricorn doing come to me spells. This, there could very much so be a Capricorn who is doing moon magic as well. You could be a Capricorn who's getting moon magic done on you by another fucking Capricorn. <laughs> Clarify. Or a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person was plotting against you. They're in emotional turmoil and they're embarrassed. Could be a karmic aunt. Oh, goddamn, bitch. Stop playing with me. The veil has been lifted. All right. And the karmic aunt here with sexual addiction. All right. We do... We do have moon magic. The veil has been lifted on this Capricorn who's been doing moon magic. For sure, for sure. And, and it could very much so be a karmic aunt somehow tied to this who's embarrassed. She's embarrassed about the secret coming out that she was doing moon magic. Yeah, there could be a karmic aunt or a Capricorn. There could be a karmic Capricorn aunt. Okay, there could be you could be a Capricorn with an auntie who's embarrassed. Or you could be someone... And a Capricorn is doing moon magic. Or you could be someone who has a karmic aunt who's doing moon magic. Or you could be someone who has a Capricorn karmic aunt who's doing moon magic. Okay, however the shoe motherfucker fits. The bitch on the table, she doing moon magic and she embarrassed. A karmic aunt is embarrassed and in turmoil. There's a Capricorn doing moon magic. The veil has been lifted. The bitch was doing come to me spells. It's a secret. They've been plotting on you the whole goddamn time. They've been plotting on you. They wanted you to have se sexual addictions. They're receiving bad karma. This is why the veil has been lifted. This is why they're embarrassed. They want you to come and communicate to them. They want you to reach out to them. And your ass ain't doing it. You sitting pretty somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. This karmic aunt is receiving bad karma. There could be a Capricorn who has a sexual addiction. Or, or a divine feminine mask on whoever watching. I ain't talking to no karma. Ooh, Pisces in this motherfucker. False prophet. Pisces could have been a false prophet. A Pisces could be a win. A, she could have been a karmic test. She, he. All right. Window seat to all this shit. 
Mm -hmm. So I feel that there could have been a Pisces who was working against you secretly with a Capricorn. Shit, this, this, this shit could really be for me. You may need to pray over your children. There's a physical ending with a false prophet on the table. Either a Pisces, Capricorn, or somebody auntie is about to pass. I'm sorry. You're in God's hands and run in the opposite direction. Karmic sister on the table too. Ban this person. Pray over your children. Big lies. This bitch did spell work. I don't give a fuck what she say. She lying. The bitch did spell work. You got a window seat to this shit. The bitch spiritually stalking you. I'm getting ready to turn to a whole street nigga. My lingo get ready to switch up when I be getting to these cars. I'm telling you. Y'all about to get the Decatur in me. Y'all about to get the Decatur in me. All right. I am from Decatur. Y'all about to get that side for real. Empath. You could be an empath. You could be a Pisces or a Capricorn. Shout out to all Pisces and Capricorns. It's not to talk shit about y'all, but it's somebody in y'all family tree. Y'all Zodiac family tree who acting up, baby. It's the secret. You empathically could feel this shit. Uh -huh. Bad vibes, bitch. You empathically could feel that. As soon as I said that, I seen bad vibes. Trust the energy. Trust the energy, bitch. If you feel like this ain't work or work. Ooh, this ain't work. Answer to your problem right here. For some of you all, this could very much so be a X. And if something did not work out the first time, spirit is saying, do not visit again. Don't circle the block. Don't circle the block, little baby. <laughs> Sexual, spiritually transmitted disease. This, this person is a demon. Succubus, incubus energy. It could be a masculine Capricorn, feminine Pisces. Could be a masculine Pisces, feminine Capricorn. Sibling rivalry going on here. You return to cinder work if this is that karmic sister. Where you at? I put that bitch back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spiritually or sexually transmitted disease. I, it's, sexual is out here twice. So it has something to do with sex and sexuality when it comes to this Capricorn with this moon magic and this Pisces. Somebody been doing some sex magic. According to the moon. So this person will call this person, have sex with them on a full moon, and be trying to get some shit done. It was emotional abuse. Yeah, this person, this whoever was doing this, they did not know that this was happening. 777 is here. Luck is on your side. Divine miracles. Because you may have suffered through emotional abuse from a snake in your fucking circle. Wanted you to be sexually addicted. Ooh, we y'all remember a long time ago that Carmen auntie was on my table. That bitch kept showing up. Y'all remember that? There's a lot of blue and yellow on this table. This bitch was doing um throat chakra magic. She didn't want you to communicate how you felt because you're an empath. She she knew you could empathically pick up on this bullshit, and she didn't want you to speak this. The secret has been exposed. This is why she embarrassed. Embarrassed. If you noticed, embarrassed. There was only one red card that said embarrassed. I feel that something, she could be receiving karma in her root chakra. Her stability could be off. And people could see that shit. People could see, people who know, there it was a secret. But there's some people here who knew what this bitch was doing. I'm feeling like it's an older feminine energy. Whether it's your actual mother, your actual aunt. Someone was here doing some shit that led to emotional abuse. Emotional turmoil. We got emotional out here twice and sexual out here twice. This person could have been sexually, emotionally abused. This person was emotionally abused and sexually abused by somebody in their family. Let's keep it moving though. 777 here. Those sevens are sticking out to me. That karmic aunt could very much so be a, ca a cancer with this 7 7. Because 7 7, 7 plus 7 is what, 15? I'm sorry, 14, which breaks down to 5. So July 7, July 5th, July 14th could be this person's birthday for this karmic aunt who receiving bad karma and who is embarrassed and in emotional turmoil for the emotional abuse that they were doing behind your back. They are the snake that was in your circle. They were doing something on you sexually to manipulate you, but the veil has been lifted. This person was plotting against you. If it was a Pisces, that's a fucking secret. The secret is that the Pisces was doing come to me spells against you. Damn, bitch, that's a lot. I'm about to end this motherfucker because it's too much on the table. I shouldn't have took all these cards. And see, people always complain. and be like, why you don't be taking all the cards? Well, I don't always complain, but I've gotten that before, right? 
And this is the reason. Because there's so much going on on the table. You're like, damn. We got a Carmen aunt over here. We got a bitch embarrassed over here. We got a bitch doing spell work. We got a nigga doing spell work. We got somebody auntie doing moon match. It's too much. It's too much. Let me get an outcome card, spirit. Oh, oh, this is why they was doing that moon magic. Because the outcome is you getting this ten of pentacles with or without. And now this is why this bitch is embarrassed. This guy, this feminine Pisces. Or it could be a Pisces auntie that was doing this shit. Pisces auntie, who was an empath that was doing come to me spells. Pisces auntie named mm, Brenda or a Capricorn auntie named Brenda. All right, anyways, let's keep it moving. Um, we got judgment here for the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody was doing something emotionally and sexually with moon magic. Somebody was doing sex magic and somebody was doing some type of throat mag uh throat and throat magic. <laughs> throat baby swallow. <laughs> Let me keep it moving. I, 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 look, my spirit guys are funny. Um, oh, throat magic. Yeah. Sucking this person up on a daily. I'm hearing they was sucking the slob off this person. Slob on my knob. Like corn on a cock. Yeah, so this person was giving head. This person was um doing something sexually, some sexual advances, right? But they were doing moon magic while they were doing this. Okay, and um, like I was saying, like with this, with this, all this yellow and blue, it's like this person could not communicate. Uh huh. That they were someone a victim of emotional abuse, and this is why they passed it on. It's like someone who got abused abusing others. That's what I am getting. But with the yellow being here, they wanted to affect. In fact, I meant to say affect, but I, I said in fact. Oh, shit, bitch. This person could be sexually, uh, this person, could, I, okay, so many messages coming through. For some of you all, this person was sexually deprived, and this is what turned them into doing all this freaky shit. For others of you all, this person could have, um, I, I lost it, but whatever. Sexually, spiritual, or transmitted disease. I feel that they want to infect your confidence and intuition. And this is why they may have sexually abused you when it comes to this Capricorn energy here. The veil has been lifted that they were plotting against you the whole time. The veil has been lifted, Divine Feminine. I don't give a fuck. If you're not a Pisces Capricorn and ain't got no karmic auntie named Brenda or whoever the fuck, the veil has been lifted that someone has been a snake in your circle. And I feel like it's a Capricorn. And a karmic auntie who may be a cancer pisces scorpio anyways and they were all doing this shit and they in judgment right now they, this is the season of judgment for their ass because they wanted that ten of pentacles that bad all right all is well divine feminine divine masculine this is the reading love and light i bye